fantastic cook you know um, she used to always tell us to always cook more than uh, you need because you never know when someone else is gonna be hungry you have enough to give somebody else but uh, she used to have various spices and blends that she used on her food uh -huh. uh, unfortunately my mother she uh, passed away in uh, 2000 and uh, what I thought I would do in memory of her was to uh, come up with a seasoning that would uh, reflect the type of flavors that she would put on her foods and in your household growing up, what kind of uh, foods were you used to eating? What, from what culture, from what uh, different backgrounds? Yeah, we, uh, uh, West Indian food, uh, 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 soul food, Indian food, uh, an array of food. She cooked pretty, pretty much everything. That's amazing. Yeah, yes. uh, Mr. Mohammed, tell me a little bit about the second product that you have over here. What is this about? Well, the second product is pretty much a, uh, an enhancer for men. You know, we are all in the 60 and over basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, we use enhancements that to, to keep our stamina. Got it. And this one right here helps helps us in uh, more than one way. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I see you're not only just trying to help yourself by staying healthy and fit, but you're trying to help your teammates as well and your opponents too. Interesting. Mr. Muhammad is trying to help the opponents too. That's very satisfying to know that you're willing to share. And I can notice that you have that trait that you discussed that your mother had about preparing more for the rest yes. of the community. Clearly, he's trying to do the same in his own diverse yeah, way. I want for my brothers and sisters what I want for myself, you know? Yes. I don't want to be the only healthy person. I want everybody to be healthy. And, and that's a very good point. Edge. Uh, but like I said, when we use certain things, you know, uh, we get good rest, you know, we exercise. You know, we uh, hydrate, the food, mm -hmm. you know, watch the foods we eat, drink a lot of water. Yeah. Those things keep us vibrant, you know, to be able to do this. You are very correct on that aspect. Tell me, where can we buy this product? Well, there's a website here, um, uh, Helen's Heavenly Crustacean um, website. Um, you can buy it there. Uh, I'll have some distributors here at this, um, this location. 
uh, for future references if anybody's interested. And a lot of people know Muhammad, so yes, please. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with, it, but I thought it was a good idea to. Uh, let y'all know what definitely so well. diamond video we are definitely going to be expecting you next week to bring more products okay. please then thank you because we are definitely trying to try a little bit of heaven's heavenly seasoning thank you <laughs> over it's a blessing that we still playing we come out here to have fun to, to stay in touch with the guys and to walk out unhurt how long have you been playing I've been playing basketball oh, I'm 56 I've been playing for about 46 years so that's why I saw so many advanced moves coming from you on the court that's amazing Thank you. <laughs> how many times do you practice a week oh okay so you're just all talent no practice Talent, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. Is there anyone who trained you when you were a kid or when you, you no no one inspired you? That's all you. Alright. What's your name? Davin. We got Magic Davin over here with all the moves on the court. When's the next time we're gonna see you play? Sunday. Sunday. You'll catch him right here, okay? Hey, hey. Now that you've heard Muhammad talk about how amazing his product is, I want you to hear from someone else who has already tried the product, Big Earl. Hi, Big Earl. How are you? I'm really excited to be here with you. Tell me, I know that you've had uh, a relationship with Muhammad already where you already are familiar with his products. We have spicy and we have mild. Helen's heavenly. Tell us a little bit more about it. What's so great about it? Muhammad has Helen's heavenly crustacean seasoning and it's very good it goes with anything fish beef you know any kind of meat that you love this season that Muhammad has here goes with it perfectly now we also have another product here Kiyoki from brother Umar that produces this here this cleans your intestines it clears up diabetes this product works also I've tried that's so exciting. And, and Big Girl, from what I understand that you're a legend, I, I want to know, what makes you so special? I'm not going to say I'm a legend. I can put myself out there like, I'm not going to put myself out there like that and say I'm a legend. But I play with a lot of guys that have been legends. Some of them is walking by me right now. Well, Brother let me named say Bird. Bird need to come over here and talk to you. I played against him. He had like five brothers. I played in Soul and Hole in 1965. I was 14 years old going on 15 and i played with raymond haskins who y'all know also that's so exciting let me say it is an honor to have you today for our, our interview for diamond video uh and you were just talking a little bit about your background i want to know where did you go to school growing up first i went to ps44 in brooklyn then i came to ps junior high school 35 and from there i went to eli whitney in the 70s mm -hmm. you know we was in the b division it wasn't you know had a lot of good guys on our team that were seen. We had like nine seniors, and me and another brother named um, Griffin came in, and uh, we was like the last two guys that was chosen. But it's that's it's super terrific. Good. And I also know that you know uh, Mr. Glenn McMillan from back in the day. How did you two initially meet? Who introduced you guys? We initially we did in a game. Um, Glenn always had this favorite move, right? Where is that? He would step on your foot and and just fall down on you. And the rest would call the foul. And you know, he did a lot of critical times, so he didn't work a lot of times. <laughs> but he's a very good friend of mine. We became friends later on, and Glenn has done a lot of things for the 40 and over, 50 and over, and 60 and over. You know, all for about, for about almost 15 years, I can count, that Glenn has been doing this tournament for guys, you know. So when everybody appreciates him, I appreciate him also. You know, so. Um, and I appreciate you guys too. Thank you so much. So for those who don't know Mr. Glenn yet, please go through our history, Diamond Video. We've definitely interviewed him last week. He had some very inspirational things to say. And speaking of inspirational, I want to know, who has inspired you most in your life? My mother. She passed away three years ago, you know, and she was, she told me everything to swim, write, clean windows to make money on the side, you know, dishes. She did a lot of things for me, God bless her soul, so... Um, Is there anyone today in the present that reminds you of her? 
basically I can see that in just about every woman I come in contact with. I can see my mother in a lot of them because they, women are very inspirational to, uh, to a man, period. You know what I'm saying? So. That's Thank you so good. much for your kind words, Big Earl. Uh, are you going to be here next week? Will we be able to catch you again at the game? Yes. yes Terrific. So don't miss it. Big Earl over here. You cannot miss his contagious smile, his vibrant energy. Please stay tuned for more. Our Take team is reality check. Muhammad, I'm the assistant coach. Muhammad is the coach and the manager. And Muhammad is the gentleman who's advertising these products by Brother Omar. And his own products we have mild and we have spicy. Can you hold up the spicy one, please? Sure. Mild and spicy. Please Melon check it out. You cannot miss out this product right here. Please stay tuned for more or come over next week. We have some over here for sale. Thank you. you Thank you. Peace and blessings. Uh, we're here with Glenn McMillan. Every Sunday, this is what we do here in Brooklyn. We live, we breathe, we love this game of basketball. And standing on the right-hand side of the camera, well, your left hand if you're watching this on your cell phone. I'm standing here with the infamous Speedy. Speedy, what brings you out today? Oh, man, to come out here just to see the guys try to do what we used to do back in the days. And, you know, just see how everybody get along with each other. You, you got to love this atmosphere. You know, we played against each other as kids. Uh -huh. And, you know, we all from different areas. And this is my man here. This is my man here. Mr. Heeman. That's, Mr. Right. Heemans, that, that's right. They have matching 30s. Let them know. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, yo, when he was a, a youngster, he was watching me, and now he's been. <laughs> I'm chasing you. I'm still chasing you. April 9th, uh, we're going to be rocking out with Cops and Kids in oh, East yeah. Harlem, East 120th, between 1st and 2nd Avenue. Diamond Video is going to be there, and hopefully you'll be there as well. Oh, yes. And we're yes, helping yes, the kids yes. to say, stop the violence. Anything, you, anything encouraging you want to say to the kids who would hope to one day make it past 50? Well, to them? well, my little message to them, you got to take care of your body. What you put in is what's going to come out. So with that being said, if you put the right nutrients and food into your body and your system, your body will be able to maintain the status that it has now. Right now, you're young and everything, but as you get older, you got to keep feeding your body the right nutrients. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're... You have to give the best version of yourself to the people that's going to look at you because they're going to have a perception of you. So not only do you do it in school, finishing school, getting your life together, but you also got to do it with your health. And your health is the main thing to keep you going. And where can people find you on social media if they like to reach out to you for further advice? Oh, man, uh, on Instagram, it's Speedy W number four. Yes, and W number four. Or, or you can go to Speedy Williams on Facebook. So, you know, it's, uh, that's the only two that I really have that I really keep up with. Thank you so much, Speedy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me just close this out real quick. Diamond Video, follow me real quick. Again, I want to say thank you to Diamond Video. It's been a long day. We've been up since 6 o'clock. Every Sunday, we start up with Morning Wood with Dre all day. We start in Harlem, work our way back to Brooklyn, and we just love what we do, and hopefully you're doing the same thing. That's Speedy. You can meet him in person happening Saturday, April 9th, as we team up with cops and kids to say no to violence. We hope to see you there. It's a family affair, and when I say free, it's free. See you there, and if I don't, continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Diamond Video, thank you for doing what you love to do. Peace. I think everybody's been coming out, having a good time. Everybody's going home. Everybody's going back to work, not to the hospital. That was our main goal to have this. 60 Nola, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Hey guys, so we'll be here after the break. Bruce Morgan has some special details about the logo he's wearing today, 718. Stay tuned for more.
we're back from a break. Bruce Morgan's going to tell us a little bit of the logo he's wearing today, 718. Bruce, what's the 718 all about? So 718 is about, is about Brooklyn pride, really. Uh, I'm a born and raised Brooklynite, um, and, and Brooklyn has its own different, old special flavor, its own special pride. Everyone, everyone from Brooklyn is really proud of living in Brooklyn. And so I came up with this logo that I copyrighted about 10 or 15 years ago, and now you see it all everywhere. They actually use it on the back of the shirts here. Uh, pe I have bags, everything from bags to cufflinks to uh, jackets, everything. I mean, and, and lots of people enjoy enjoy wearing it. So yeah, that's awesome. Where in Brooklyn, particularly, did you grow up? I grew up in the Bushwick section of Brooklyn. I currently live in Bushwick right now. I live on Halsey on the L line. Yeah. Um, Meadow Street. Yes. By Myrtle. I well, actually. Palmetto well. Street. Oh, that's where you grew up. I know exactly where that is. I, I personally grew up in Bensonhurst by the okay. D line, uh, but I, I definitely have been living in Brooklyn. I'm also born and raised in Brooklyn. Okay. And I do agree with you. It has a specific, different flavor. Absolutely. I've lived in Manhattan. I lived in the Bronx. I cannot find that little Brooklyn magic anywhere else but in Brooklyn. Absolutely. Is there anyone who isn't here today that you'd like to give a shout out that is also a little Brooklynite? Um. My daughter lives in, in Queens, but I, I don't give a shout out to her all the time anyway. So, my daughter, Basha Morgan, hello. And I'd like to give a shout out to my grandpa, Rob. He's currently in Florida right now in Orlando, but he has a 718 logo right here. Okay. Because he is also a Brooklyn Knight, even though he's doing down everything in Florida. That's good. Yeah, That's good. yeah. Thank you so much again. <laughs> Hey, this is Irais Hernandez, and I'm back here with Diamond Video. I have a very special guest for you today, Carmine Thomas. He is playing the djembe today. Djembe is your first instrument you're playing, or have you played instruments before? This is my second instrument. Second instrument. So Carmine is a musician, if you guys didn't know this. Carmine has a very special talent to share with us today. Take it away, Carmine. Okay. You're beatboxing? Prodigy, make sure to hit the like button so we can get Carmine to come back next Sunday. Carmine, tell us, um, how old are you? You are very talented. How old are you? How long have you been playing the djembe? Uh, I've been playing the djembe for like two months. Two months now. Month. Okay, going on for two months. And who taught you? Um, I kind of taught myself, and you also helped me learn. A little bit. I'll give you most of the credit, though. You, clearly, you've been practicing on your own time. So you said you play another instrument. What other instrument do you play? I play the guitar. That's really exciting, Carmine. Um, a little birdie told me you're a musician. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on YouTube uh, and Instagram. What What are your uh, names on Instagram and YouTube? Uh, Dead Abyssal Cut. Dead Abyssal Cut, okay. And this is Diamond Video. You can definitely uh, reach out to us if you want us to ever come and support any of your events. Uh, that phone number to contact would be 646 Five four eight five eight eight one, or if you want to try and marking um, three four seven nine six two seven zero seven one. This is Diamond Video. Please stay tuned next week. We have Carmine coming again to play the djembe, right? Okay. Thank you so much. A and Carmine, uh, what are your hobbies outside of playing instruments? Uh, I love to code and play video games. Okay, so we have a young prodigy over here, another jack of all trades. Very talented, very ambitious, and inspirational, hopefully, to other people in your community. Carmine, thank you so much for your time. This is Irais Hernandez and Carmine Thomas. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Thank you so much for
for watching Diamond Video. Don't forget to click like on this video and subscribe so you can stay tuned for more. Uh, we're still here. We have another guest today, Mike G. Hi, Mike. Hey, how you doing today? I'm really excited to see you here today. Tell me, what special things have you brought us for today? Well, hopefully a good basketball game and um, have some fun with the fellas on my team. What uh, team are you representing? Representing her team, which is Harlem Knights. Harlem Knights. Okay, yes. so you definitely woke up early to be here. Yes. Do you wake up early every day? Well, yes, I work up early every day. I'm still working, still employed, 9 to 5. Where do you work? I, um, I work for the city of New York. I'm a contract manager. I um, work with uh, uh, city agencies all over the five boroughs. Wow, Mike G's a jack of all trades. We got a pro basketball player and working for the city. What don't you do? Well, and I'm a family man. I and have, a family um, man. Married with uh, children. Wow, that's a clear demonstration that if you really commit, you can have time for everything. And speaking of time, if you could have a possible time to have a sit-down, a dinner with a celebrity, dead or alive, who would that person be? I'd probably be Obama. Obama. And um, a couple other people I just can't think of. But Are we um, talking about Michelle or Barack? Yes. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Okay, yeah. what would that conversation look like? Well, it'd be a lot of um, talking about what we could do for the future and how we could help people uh, of all colors and nationalities. That's absolutely right. I have to say the United States of America is a very diverse country. We don't even have an official language. Mike, do you speak any other languages other than English? Not right now, but uh, I would love to learn other languages. All right, all right. <laughs> well, gracias for being here. Thank you so much for being here, Mike. <laughs> Are we going to see you well. here next Saturday? I'm um, Sunday. I'll be here next Sunday. Next Sunday. Yes. Okay, representing the same team, I'm assuming. Me? Yes, I will. All Sixth right. Over. Please stay tuned because Mike G has some amazing things to show you on the court, okay? Yes, I will. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Sully Daisa over right here. I have a very special treat for you this Sunday. I have an exclusive interview with uh, the author of The Black Trojan Woman. Yannick Runwick came out with this book earlier this month. She has a book signing event coming up for her birthday. So please make sure to stay tuned because she has an amazing, amazing story. <laughs> I'm here with Brother Earl. Brother Earl, so tell us a little about how you got the name Brother Earl and what do you do and why you do what you do? Well, the reason why I gave my name uh, uh, Brother Earl is when I was uh, young and my father would like regale stories of him coming up in Harlem, he always referred to his friends as Brother Bullard, Sister Dorothy, and, and what I thought that what that said to me was this was a time before we called each other N-words and B-words. So, uh, you know, I thought that would be a good name for me. And then when, you know, Malcolm X's right-hand man was Brother Earl, I'm like, yo, nah, yeah, that's, that's my name. Yeah, I I'm with that. So, uh, yeah, the Brother Earl was uh, uh, certainly someone that uh, uh, held Malcolm X down, man. He was in the struggle. He was about his business. And... And with what my father gave me as a, you know, as a young man growing up, I just thought it all made sense. Let's go back a little bit. You don't call yourself Brother Earl. You call yourself the real Brother Earl. Well, well on IG, I do call myself the real Brother Earl because sometimes there's a, you know, a couple of folks masquerading as Brother Earl. And, and although it's love, when I see them, we battle because I am Brother Earl. Okay, unless you was Malcolm X right hand man, I, I'm Brother Earl. That's the real brother Earl. That's the real brother Earl. So, real brother Earl, tell us a little bit about why do you do the spoken word? Uh, well, uh, my journey into poetry is uh, uh, has some def you know has a definite you know like track. So, so we say. I mean, I started off as an MC, you know, as a teen, you know, in the '70s and '80s. I definitely said yes, yes, y'all, and and all that, and and it was a beautiful thing. Then you get, you know, you go to college and you get grown, and you know, you're not. MCing anymore you know you got to do grown stuff but what I found out is that the art has been the art was trying to come out it first tried to come out because my um back in the day remember you used to have answering machines oh yeah oh, oh man yeah. my answering machine game was serious oh my goodness I would like rewind practice it practice it because I was always saying some sort of poem with my joint it always matched the music I didn't know it at the time but my art was trying to come out and that's the way it came out. Then 
two things kicked the door down. One was an emotional breakup with the sister, and the other was uh, my father dying. And the, the poet that's been there waiting to come back out just had enough at that point. So 25 years later, here I am. Here I am. Real brother Earl, that's the man that was break dancing back in the 80s. He was spinning on his head and on his elbows. The real brother Earl. And hey, it's at the Hexagon Live every second and what Tuesday? Every second and fourth Tuesday, right here at Hexagon Lounge, 318 West on 42nd Street, right in the heart of Harlem. Poets, singers, comedians, musicians, okay? We got drink, uh, food, and hookah specials. Man, it's really going down, man. This is a real live spot. You need to find yourself here, okay? You need to find yourself here. You heard it live. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. Nap from the artificial. The Lord real. The duplicated. The real. Lord of Xerox. The real. Brother Earl. For sure. <laughs> Y'all be easy. Thank you for listening. Love is as love does. One. Hi, Yannick Renwick. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm really excited to introduce you to Diamond Video and all of our viewers. Tell me, my dear. What inspired you to start writing The Black Trojan Woman? Honestly, The Black Trojan Woman started off as a college admissions essay. And um, I didn't originally want it to be a book. It was literally just going to be an essay. But then I, over over the years, I developed it. And, um, you know, because I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it while I was in college. But then, you know, I started getting more into my poetry. So that I thought, oh, well, why not, um, you know, make it a poetry book? So that added a, a, a various amounts of, po of poems. And, uh, you know, I, I put them in, in a specific order, um, showing, like, like the hardship of, of, of the things that I've been through in my life. And then moving on to how, how life gets better, you know? That sounds very detailed and very deep. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about where you went to school and uh, what you majored in? I went to school at Lincoln University uh, of Pennsylvania, and I studied human services. So, you know, I really I have a passion for helping people. I'm really hoping that this book helps people with, with the poetry, the prose, and the, and the physical artwork that's in it as well. Wow. So if we wanted to buy your book, where can we find you? Where can we support you? Where can we purchase this book? You can purchase this book on uh, Amazon.com. The link can be found in my bio on Instagram. And my username is YanniQueen777. So that's spelled Y-A-N-I-Q-U-E-777. So for those who are here today, they have an exclusive opportunity to get a signed book by Miss Renwick right over here. Uh, each copy is being sold for $20.00 with a signed copy of Dr. Renwick over here. Uh, this is just the nickname that I call her. We've been friends for over 12 years now, yeah. best friend for 12 years now. We'd like to speak things into existence, so that's just a little um, inside joke that we have. But are you gonna be here next Sunday if anyone's interested to coming um, to support you? Yes, and I, um, I can't guarantee that I have more copies of the book with me at that time. But you guys already know where to find it. And um, a, a correction, it's not 20 it's $17. But a signed copy would be 20 Understood, understood. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much for coming out here today. Uh, I know that you traveled all the way from Queens. Uh, tell me, what's your favorite thing about Brooklyn? <laughs> I like the fact that, that there's um, like a variety of kinds of people here. And it's easy to get around to, uh, to stores and different train stations. It's not exactly... E uh, easy to get around places in Queens without uh, a car or knowing the streets like that because I know people tend to get lost in Queens quite easily. I mean, got it, got it. So if you want to come here to Brooklyn next weekend, please come. Uh, Yannick has already said that she will definitely do her best to show up here. If you want to buy a copy on your own online and come here and have her sign it, that's also an option too. Yannick, thank you so much for coming out here this Sunday, for spending your time with us and Diamond Video. Uh, if you also want to support Diamond Video, uh, our cash app is dollar sign six two okay and then if you want to come support me on August 24th I have a marathon coming on that's for the Brooklyn runs I'm doing a 10k marathon 
is my first marathon ever. So if you want to support me, you can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. You can email me if you're interested in me coming to any of your future events. Or just let Diamond Video know. The number is 646-548-5881. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. New York City, Chicago, South Carolina, New York City, and of course, the United States of America. And our condolences going out to what's going on in Ukraine, but right now, we're here every Sunday with Glenn McMillan and the 60 and over basketball league. Listen, I'm standing here with one of my basketball brothers, Onion. Onion, uh, listen, you're going to be there coming up for June 9th, right? Yes, sir. June 9th, right? Yes, sir. No, it's April 9th. It's April 9th. Not June 9th. You're going to correct me. Yes, it's April 9th. We're doing Cops and Kids. Uh, Onion's going to be running point. We hope that you come out as a free public event. We're helping the kids to say no to what? Drugs. And what? Drugs. Violence. And violence. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, all right. Don't worry. He had a senior citizen moment right there. Yeah, I did. Good. Say no to drugs and say no, no to violence. violence. We'll right. see you April 9th. That's the Saturday. And uh, we start at 12 o'clock, 12 to 5. He's going to be there, and hopefully you will be as well. Thank you, Diamond Video. For more information, you can find me on social media under Over 50 Baller. And how can they find you? At the game or in the gym. How about on the A-Train? On the main train too, going to the game. So that's even better. But thank you so much, Diamond. Peace and blessings. Diamond Video, keep doing what you're doing. She's always ready, and she makes sure she keeps that camera steady. Peace, y'all. No,